Please welcome this week's special guest, Mike. <laughs> so, Barry, <laughs> what is Mike to you? This is Mike, who is one of the three kings who came to visit me at Christmas. <laughs> OK. Um, Miles, what is Mike to you? Uh, this is Mike. We were once told off by our neighbour because our snowman was using up too much snow. Right. <laughs> and Lee, what's your relationship with Mike? This is Mike, and last year I ordered my Christmas turkey from his farm, but I never got to eat it because I formed an unbreakable bond with the bird. <laughs> It. Barry's Christmas King, <laughs> Miles's fellow snow hog, or Lee's turkey trader. David's team, where would you like to begin? So, uh, Barry, your, yes. s your story is unclear at the moment. Are you saying that you're the baby Jesus? <laughs> no, it was, it was Christmas and uh, three kings visited me. <laughs> what, <laughs> kings, right, what, what, what countries were they king of? They were not kings in the regal sense at all. And in what sense were they kings? In sense of their name. Their surname uh, was King? Yes. I get it now. Suddenly it's more plausible. <laughs> Here we go again. What are the names of the three kings? Yeah. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Phew! <laughs> Tony. Tony and, King. And Dennis. Dennis King. Dennis King. It's a very warm memory I've got of them visiting. I was in hospital. They visited you in hospital? Yes. Can we ask the nature it... of your hospital visit, or is that too personal a question? Oh, there might be people eating and watching this. No, there won't be anyone watching it, but there might be people eating. There right? might be people eating. <laughs> <laughs> I was bandaged up ex extensively. Like a mummy? I was. Uh, that's true. You were bandaged all over? Yes. But you, you, you're, you don't think it appropriate to say why? Well, if you a... insist. Yes, didn't yes we it. do. Eczema. Oh. oh. Happy Christmas time. <laughs> Happy Christmas time. Happy Xmas. <laughs> <laughs> right, what about what about Miles? Okay, Miles, you and Mike were making a snowman together. A, a neighbour uh, was very cross with us because our snowman had used too much snow. Set the scene. Where were yeah. you making the snowman? Uh, Northampton. So, you, you live in Northampton? No, I don't live in... Mike lives in Northampton. So... And I was staying in Northampton. And why were, were you staying with Mike? Yes, because um, he uh, rents rooms to actors. So, what was the play you were doing in it Northampton? It was called The Way of the World. Right. And you were staying with Mike? That's right, yeah. How did the topic of building a snowman with this relative stranger... <laughs> uh, Say relative stranger, I was, staying, I was staying in Mike's house for two and a half months. What would happen? I would go back to the digs after the show and Mike would often still be up and say, oh, I've just opened a bottle um, and uh, do you want a glass? So I'd sit and we'd chat about uh, how did it go and I'd say, oh, Mike, it was another absolute triumph. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> so, you would, so you got to know Mike and, and then one day, one day it snowed and yeah. Mike said, no, we're friends now. And at Let's... that point you didn't, words weren't necessary. You both looked at each other. <laughs> Come on, Mike. So that it snowed. Yeah. And who brings up the subject of building a snowman? Oh, well, Mike uh, smokes, so he would go outside on the doorstep, and and one That's when out... he noticed the snow. <laughs> well, I, uh, he hadn't looked out the window up at that point because I was telling him theatrical anecdotes, so he was absolutely riveted. He would have no reason to look anywhere other than right. straight at you know which, whichever part of my body I was using to tell the story. Um, <laughs> which parts of your body can you use to tell stories? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, you know, full, he's, you know, he's, a pro neat. he's a proper actor. Yeah. He tells stories with his whole body. It's yeah. not just neck up cynicism. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so, so you, so Mike hadn't noticed the snow. He went he outside. Said, he said, "Do you know it's snowing?" And so I wondered out, and I was like, "Oh wow, well, I haven't made a snowman for ages." And we were talking about making snowman, and I. I said, you know that thing when you start rolling snow and it really, you can make a snowman really big really quickly because you roll it and it starts picking up and I started demonstrating. But only if the snow has already lain and you said it's snowing. Thank you. Yeah, but how... <laughs> I think what you're underestimating, Miranda, is yeah. the length of Miles' anecdote. <laughs> it's, it starts snowing yeah. and then the anecdote <laughs> finishes. It's about six feet of it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's, now yeah. it seems more plausible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then what happened? I just... I, I used the snow from about... probably about three or four houses. 
I've used all that snow to make one enormous, ridiculously large snowman. And then what happened? Because then somebody... There was an altercation. When I ran out of the house the next morning, a chap that lived, like, two doors down said, do you know who built the snowman? I said very proudly, I built this snowman. <laughs> and he said, well, you've used up all the snow, haven't you? Does Elephant. this house have a back garden? Uh, it, it does, but the back garden has you know, multiple, you know, lots and lots of locks, whereas the front one, you wanted a cigarette, so you just... Sorry, the, the, well, uh, why, why did he have so many locks on his back door? <laughs> well, because people are more likely to break into the... You must know this. People are more likely to break into the back of the house... ..than the front, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> now then, Lee's story. Seeing your bird. So. Mike sold you a turkey, is that yes. right? No, I went to his uh, farm to choose a turkey. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I never got to eat it because uh, I formed an unbreakable bond with that bird. And it's here tonight! <laughs> <laughs> what was the nature of this bond? I went to the farm in, in around about uh, beginning of November and you choose your bird and then I, I was driving past again and I thought I'll just pop in, you know, have a, have a, have a look at my bird. And so he showed me, and that's when I had a proper look at it, and it looked back at me. <laughs> and there was something about the look that, um, <laughs> that he gave me that just made me think, I just don't, I just don't, want, I don't want to kill him and eat him. So... Did, you, did you immediately feel that? No, no, this was after we'd had dinner, and... Um, <laughs> it was about the third day, I think. So how, what did you do to save the bird's life? I, I said to Mike, change of plan, I will take it home. You, um, what did you have for Christmas dinner that year? Uh, we had turkey. <laughs> but not that turkey. So did so, you say, I'll take him as a pet? <laughs> and I'll kill and that one. one <laughs> chop his head off. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I, uh... he, he won't give me the time of day. <laughs> so, where do you keep a turkey? In the, in the first place, in the shed. I cleared away all the sharp implements. Uh... A bit of potpourri in a bowl. <laughs> no, if you're not going to take my story seriously, Stephen, I don't no, want to talk to you. <laughs> How did your wife react? She was uh, well, she, as you know, lives in the shed as well, so she was... Um, <laughs> she wasn't happy. And she said, I think it's time I made a move into what she calls the house. <laughs> so, <laughs> and there it has. What did you call the turkey? Istanbul. <laughs> Istanbul? Yeah. Why? It's in Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, uh, David's team. Is Mike Barry's Christmas king? Uh, Miles' is fellow snow hog, or Lee's turkey trader? I'm all about Miles. Yeah. Mm. In I, every way. I think it's Barry. <laughs> Do you? Do you? Do we think Lee is definitely not... We think oh, Lee is okay. definitely yeah. not true. <laughs> so you think Family it's Miles? Not. I think no. it's Miles. Stephen's saying Miles. I'm saying... Sometimes I'm saying Miles, sometimes I'm saying Barry. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's Barry. You say it's Barry? OK. Um, Mike, would you please reveal your true identity? Yeah, I'm the Mike King with the three kings who visited Barry on Christmas Day. <laughs> yes, Mike is Barry's Christmas King. Thanks very much, Mike. Thank you.